So inside the Java programming language, we do have a number of uh, assignment operators, and this is how we assign values to variables. Now we've already seen the equals operator being used to assign values to variables. Uh, we've seen this uh, in the last several lessons, works out well. There are several more where we can uh, combine uh, addition, multiplication, subtraction uh, with this operator. So I'm gonna jump over and take a look at these. I got a, a slide prepared that you can uh, download and use for your studies. And uh, then we'll uh, talk about what these are and the different assignment operators that we have available inside the Java programming language. So let's go ahead and take a look at the available Java assignment operators. So we have the equal sign, and we've already seen that used a number of times in the course. And that is just simply going to assign a value to the variable on the left. Now we have the plus equal sign. And how this is going to work is it's going to add that value to the variable on the left. So in the first example there, so if a is one and we do a plus equals five, a will become six at the end of this operation. So it adds it and it assigns that value. So it does a reassignment. So very, very important that it's not only doing the addition, but it's also doing the reassignment of the, at that value. And then we can see that we also have the subtraction same thing, it is going to subtract, in the, this example, it would subtract five from A, and then A would have that final result. And then we have the uh, multiplication operator, does exactly as you would uh, expect. And then the division operator, again, that is going to do exactly what you expect. And then the modulus operator down at the bottom there. And all of these, the important thing to remember is that operation is going to occur and then the variable on the left is going to get assigned the result of that operation. So it really does give you uh, a little bit of shorthand to make your coding a little bit uh, more concise and also uh, some people would say more readable here. So they, these are the different assignment operators that we have available for our use inside the Java programming language. So that's the assignment operators that we do have available for our use inside the Java programming language. Now, I know from the slide, slide presentation there might be a little confusing as to how to use those. I'm going to jump over into IntelliJ and show you how these are used because what's happening there, uh, it's really kind of shorthand to save us a little bit of typing. We can use these to consolidate uh, the amount of coding that we have to do where we can combine the assignment and also addition or uh, multiplication division into one operator and it does help us write a, our code a little bit more efficiently and uh, I'm going to jump over to IntelliJ now so you can see exactly how these are are used. I, I think once you see them used in practice uh, it'll make a lot more sense than what we just saw on the slide deck. Let's take a look at uh, some examples here of using assignment operators. So I'm going to come in and create a new class and I'm just going to call this a assignment operators, like so. And yeah, we'll start off with the uh, main class. So I'm just using an IntelliJ shortcut there. And let's uh, carry on with the same example that we're using in our debug example. I'm gonna do uh, integer, and we'll call this house square foot. And we'll say that is uh, equal to zero. And here, let's call our uh, living room again. And we'll say, and we'll say this is a 15 by 20. So previously, uh, we were basically assigning it. We're doing house square foot plus living room is how we were doing the assignments. And what we can do is just get rid of this. And now we can do the assignment operator like that. So now we have the plus equals, and that is going to uh, add the living room value to the house square foot value and assign the house square foot value to that. So that, that is just one example. And then we can also do house square foot, and we can say minus equals 20, and that is going to subtract 20 from the house square foot and assign that result to the uh, variable house square foot. And we can also do the multiplication operator. And we, let's just do five, we'll keep it reasonable. So now we're gonna multiply that value and reassign it. And then we can also do 
house square foot uh, and just divide that by by two like so and I'm just going to do system out and yeah, we'll do that and let's go ahead and concatenate the variable in like that now let's go ahead and run this if you notice I'm not doing any system output here and let's go ahead and run the debugger here and I'm going to put a breakpoint right there and now I'm going to come up here on line four I'm going to right click on that and say debug and we can see that we stopped at line five I am going to step over that line so we can see the house square foot is set to zero living room gets initialized to 300 now the house square footage is now set to 300 so we got a assigned to that value and we can see that I subtracted uh, 20 from that so now it's 280 multiplying it by 5 so it goes to 1400 dividing it by 2 so it drops down to 700 and if I continue on here we will get to the end of the program and just so you can see this a little bit better let's say I started off with a house square footage of 400 and let me run this in the debugger one more time So now we can see that we initialize it to 400. We bring in the uh, living room, which is 300. And on line seven, I'm gonna go ahead and click here. We can see that that has now been added to that. So we went to 400, living room was 300, and we added that in. So you can, hopefully that helps you envision how this operand is working. So this assignment operator is uh, not only doing the arithmetic operation, but it is also reassigning it to that variable. So very important to remember that it's not only doing the arithmetic, but also assigning it to the variable as well.